Hello everybody and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Today we are heading right down the street and we are going to pick up our load. Let me shift up here. Let's go right in the top here. Um, I'm using my Logitech G27 today. So hopefully um, it will be a lot, a lot more interesting episode. Um, hoping that, I'm hoping that you guys will like the content and, uh, and that, um, I can continue making it, um, because I'm not going to make content if nobody likes it even if I do really enjoy the game. Whoops, that's the wrong blinker. Better go for it. So yeah, using the Logitech G27. I apologize for not using it last episode. I just, yeah, my buttons are messed up too. Just starting again using the wheel. Um, so, so yeah. Um, wow, a little bit close there. So let's take this, and it's going to be 40,000 pounds of peas. So let's take it. Um, we will be taking this trailer right here. And thankfully, it is a lot easier using a G27 or a steering wheel in general just everything about it I believe nope that's my flashers there we go okay so you have to bear with me I'm still getting used to my wheel again I haven't used it for a while let's put it in low Oops, it's not reverse. I do have 900 degrees of rotation, so it might be a little bit challenging. I don't want to jackknife this trailer. Put it in fourth gear. I am going to be moving the steering wheel a lot. Let me know if it's uh, very loud. Um, I hope, I'm really hoping that it's not. But I have a bad feeling that it will be. Uh, pretty loud. So let me know. Okay. Not doing too bad so far. Um, I'm kind of surprised, honestly, that I'm not crashing into everything with this steering wheel. Um, whoops. My bad. Going into lower gears here. And I put on the wrong blinker again, I just realized. I apologize for <laughs> not being... Yeah, let's see. All right. Okay, yep, yeah. came up quick. No, that's not what I want to do. There we go. All the way down in the seventh gear. That was a little bit too much. All right. So, the... You're probably going to be hearing my shifter and my steering wheel. Obviously I don't have the... Whoops. Okay. Obviously I don't have a... I guess what you would call a dream setup. I don't have the budget to spend on audio. I don't have a job. So... I don't have an income unless YouTube becomes a job for me, which will be a while from now anyway. So, so either way, um, I'm just going to roll up to this stoplight pretty slowly. There's no point to be going fast. We're just going to stop. It's 6.03 in the morning right now. 
And got the full light. Okay, cool. Now, for my shifting, obviously, I have, I believe, 18 gears. I cannot remember. Uh, yes, I do. I just saw it there. Um, but what I do is because on a real truck, you've got your shifter, but instead of like a regular car where you've got a 4 speed or 5 speed, 6 speed, whatever, you've got 18 speeds. But obviously they're not going to take 18 speeds and put them, put 18 speeds on the floor, you'd be all the way over into the passenger seat with the shifter. So what they've done, or what they do, um, even though most trucks nowadays are automatics anyway, um, let's go down into 14. <clears throat> but even though they're uh, nowadays they're mostly they're mostly uh, automatic transmissions, they do still use manual transmissions, obviously. Um, but they're becoming less and less common because it's a lot easier to drive an automatic. Um, especially with a truck, a truck, semi trucks. Uh, I think I'm gonna need to get over into the, that lane. Yes, I am. Come on, buddy, get by me. Come on. There we go. Okay. Jeez. So, basically, we're just gonna. No, oh, it's only. Whoa, my bad. I'm still getting used to this steering wheel. My bad. We're just gonna cruise around 55, I think. Put cruise control on. Um, so I can talk. So, basically, what they do is they have a button, or a switch, on the shifter that will let you change from... Basically, you have three sets of six gears. So, once you get up to... Well, I think it kind of depends. I'm not really sure. Um, let's see if we're slowing down here. I'm going to jump into this lane. This left lane, even though I used the wrong blinker. Um, and we're going to jump back over. Either way. Anyway, um, as I was saying, you've got a switch. And I believe most trucks, it's between... Uh, I believe... It's uh, intervals of six, so you go from first, second, all the way up to sixth, and once you hit sixth, you have to hit that switch, and from there, you can go back to what would be first, but is instead seventh gear. <clears throat> and so, once you hit seventh gear, you can go all the way up to thirteenth, and then after thirteenth, you can go from... I, th I believe mo I believe an 18 speed uh, transmission is very common uh, but I think there are uh, higher or more gears per transmission uh, out there but you can go from 13 then you go to 18 which isn't six it's five but well, no, it's 6. 13 to 18 is 6. I mean, if you count 13. So, basically, it's a lot more difficult than a regular transmission you would find in a normal car. Or a regular manual transmission you would find in a, in a normal car. So, uh, it's very challenging. Very, very challenging. I mean, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. But, when you're first starting out, it can take a while to learn. Now, what I was going to get to when I first started saying that, I kind of, like, not really went off topic, but kind of, uh, went and said maybe a little bit too much. Either way, with the G27, obviously, there are no buttons on the shifter. You can... Uh, look up at Logitech G27 steering wheel 
and uh, there's no button on the shifter itself. There are buttons ahead of the shifter though, which I I feel like quite a few people. Um, this guy, what is he doing? My bad. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, my blinkers are screwed up. Sorry about that. I've got six buttons on the steering wheel, and uh, the I you would think for the right you, the right side there's three on each side. You would think for the right side you would have a right blinker, but for some reason it's mapped to the left blinker. So what I was saying was you've got paddle shifters on the G27, and you've got three sets of gears, and obviously you're already in your first set of gear. Um, when you start the uh, when you start up the game, you're already in your first set of gears. So my thoughts were instead of having a button or two buttons on the uh, shifter module, instead of having those be the switches to get to the higher gears. I decided I would, use, I would use the paddle shifters, because you're obviously not going to use paddle shifters in a semi-truck. So I've done it for a while, and it seems to work out pretty good, except in situations where you have to be on the shifter, and obviously there's you've got your left paddle shifter and your right paddle shifter. And, um, your left is usually used by your left hand. Your right is used by your right hand. That's pretty obvious, but when you're trying to shift and use the paddle shifters at the same time, use the right paddle shifter. Sorry for going off the road there. I'm trying to use my hands, and even though you can't see me. Uh, but... I am just all over the road. It probably looks like I'm a drunk driver. So, if I need to shift up to my uh, third increment of gears, which is from 13 to 18, I've got to use the right paddle shifter. And because my uh, tra or my shifter, that's a nice Ferrari. Cool. Um, because my shifter. Um, sorry, I'm blanking out here. Because I have to have my hand on the shifter, it's not very easy to have my hand on the shifter, have the clutch in, and then quickly move my right hand to the paddle shifter. It's kind of challenging, but I feel not not challenging, but it's just kind I don't know how to really describe it. It's a little bit difficult to describe, but it, I should probably figure out a better way to, uh, to, like, use it, or whatever, to shift to the higher gears. But for right now, I feel like it, it serves as a, it's very challenging to drive a truck like this in real life, so I kind of feel like it's, almost something like that, that it kind of makes up for that. Having to move my hands really quickly kind of acts as a challenge. I mean, obviously I don't want the game to be super easy. I mean, I just think that would be really boring. Um, I mean, the whole point of the game is to drive to and from places, but without, with just going to and from places, I feel like that's a bit boring. I mean, not not necessarily. It's just, you gotta have a bit of variation. I think. Let's jump over here. No, this guy's gonna get going, I think. Can't really tell. Speed limit only is 50. I'm going 55. I mean, no big deal. Um, but, I don't know. I feel like I've been rambling way too long about these, uh, about shifting with the truck. But, 
I would think that those of you who watch me uh, have some sort of idea on how shifting works. I mean, you can look up the, any number of tutorials on Wikipedia, or not tutorials, sorry, uh, information on how they work on Wikipedia or a YouTube video or whatever, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to stop boring you to death um, with this talking about shifting. We just left, well, we left a while ago, a uh, leap to Zeg. And uh, we're in Germany right now. So we are going to Brno, I think. Or I believe it's Brno. I'm not really sure. I might happen to split these episodes up in two. Um, kind of depends. If I get, if I get there, when I play not getting there, then uh, I'll be good and it'll be one episode. Because I don't want to create short episodes. I don't like creating short episodes. Um, I think it's very... I don't think it's very fair. I mean, 15, 16 minutes isn't very short. But it's not very long either. And for this type of game, I feel like long trips are kind of this game's forte. So I like to I I'd like to create longer episodes for it. Yeah, I'm going to I I do want to apologize for uh not having my stuff really set up very well. I mean, I've got it set up, but it's just not I don't know. I'm just not not prepared, basically. My wheel is... I, I really wanted to use my wheel. I really wanted to see... I wanted you to guys... I wanted you guys to... Oh, crap. I'm going to take... Whoa. Not paying attention to <laughs> see? But I wanted you guys to be able to... Uh, see me use the wheel. Um, I'd like to get a camera set up so you can see how I'm using the clutch and shifting and stuff like that, but I don't really have the money to do that right now, and I'm not sure many, there's not that many people watching these anyway, so I'm gonna wait on that. I'd also like to upgrade my, my audio, uh, hardware and software and everything like that. And I'm not going to lie, I've put out somewhere around, I, think, I don't know how many videos I've uploaded yet, but I've got quite a few and uh, I, haven't up, I haven't edited a single video. Not going to lie, I've done a each one of the videos I've made so far uh, have been unedited. They've all been... Let's save some fuel here. They've all been one shot. No cutting, nothing. And I feel like there's two reasons to that. Number one, I have no idea what program to use, how to use it, I mean, I have no knowledge with, there we go, put in six, right. apparently this guy's just not going to go, um, oh, because there's a guy in front of him, okay, whatever, um, and, no, oh, let's be, we have it. Signal? Whatever. I'm gonna follow these guys. This guy can get moving. I'm just looking to turn into here and drop our load off. This might this 
one might be a little bit challenging. Oh, I don't believe I'm going to have to use my... the auto park. I believe I can do this. We'll see. I will be using the mouse a little bit. This is going to be a little bit difficult. Let's just start turning now. I don't think I cut enough. You know what? I don't like doing it. But I will uh, use... Whoops, that's not the one. There we go. I think I'm going to end up using this. It's not very easy to use. I'm not going to lie. But... Never mind. Let's let's go forward. It's actually I'm going to t attempt to turn around without jackknifing the trip. Whoa, that was a little fast. Sorry about that. Well, I'm not sorry. I mean, there's not much to be sorry about, but. So we're going to park right between these two UPS uh, trailers. No big deal. I think I'll be able to do it. I think. It's a big thing. And now, uh, let me know if uh, you have any suggestions for these videos. Like if the audio is too loud or anything like that. I'm happy to... Uh, I think I might... Okay, I'm probably... For some reason, I'm not doing good with uh, my trailer parking. And I apologize for that. Maybe it's because I'm using this wheel. Probably is. But I'm going to do a... Very, very... Very stupid thing right now. <laughs> and you're probably looking at me thinking... What is he doing? And I am... Let's go this way. I'm in the street right now. Just so I can back up this trailer. Because, unfortunately, I'm not very good at it. And I'm pretty sure I just held up traffic there. Let's see if that's any good. Now, it's not very easy hanging out your window like this, but it gets the job done. So, yeah, if you have any suggestions for these videos, like audio is too loud or you can hear me, hear me echoing, because obviously I don't have very good equipment. For audio, I mean, right now, <laughs> it's not a very, uh, I mean, I've got an alright situation, but my voice is probably too low, uh, you can probably hear the, an echo from the game, I really don't know, I've, when I've rewatched these videos, uh, I haven't heard any echo, but, I don't know. So, this will be it for your truck. We got an excellent, we went from Leipzig to Rostock, traveled 219 miles, took us 4 hours and 44 minutes, uh, fuel consumed was 36.4 gallons, we got 9,651 er, euros, and 487 XP. So, that will be it for Euro Truck. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Bye!